Integration in Curriculum Hardens 11 Steps Integration is an essential strategy in any curriculum that focuses to create work-ready individuals who can serve society in a caring and professional approach. The dental education preparing students to become general dentists is one area where integration facilitates student-centered learning. Harden in a semi seminal paper on integration outlines the 11 step ladder that describes the continuum along the two extremes, isolation to integration. The article is provided in the comments section. Harden describes the various stages in integration as steps under step 1 to step 11. Step 1, isolation. Each subject or discipline delivers the learning without knowledge of each other and in isolation. Students are expected to integrate and make sense how each discipline affect and complement each other in their professional work. The traditional dental curriculum where each subject like anatomy, physiology, etc. handled by respective experts but with no idea what each discipline is delivering, what, when and how can easily describe isolation. Step 2 is awareness. The teachers are aware of what is happening in other subjects but deliver their content independent of each other. The awareness could be in form of a timetable or published curriculum which tells what content of other disciplines is delivered and when. The teacher of prosthodontics will know that periodontics faculty also deal with effect of prosthesis on periodontally compromised dentition. However, there are no active steps to integrate in terms of patient care. Step 3. Harmonization The teachers communicate with each other formally and informally and attempts are made so that each discipline can contribute to achieving the overall curriculum objectives. Explicit connections to other disciplines are explained to students by each subject teacher during the delivery. Efforts are made to show connections of various disciplines rather than assuming that the students can make the connections. The anatomy teacher explains how knowledge of physical structure can help one perform surgery safely. The material teacher shows how bonding of composite is essential to prevent secondary caries. Here, the teachers are aware of the purpose of dental education and actively strive to show the connections. Step 4. Nesting the teacher targets and delivers the knowledge or skills of other disciplines in their subject content. This enriches the learning of the subjects. Using the same example as step 4, when the materials teachers shows how micro locking and bonding to the two structure prevents the formation of plaque and thus affects the pathological process of caries, then it can be called nesting. Step 5. Temporal coordination. The disciplines are delivered isolated, but the delivery of related content is coordinated to be delivered at the same time. The anatomy of mandible and muscles of mastication are taken when training for the nerve blocks and understanding on the effect of occlusion happen. Step 6. Joint teaching. Closely related subjects which are conceptually and are complementary to each other, come together in the planning and delivery of a shared course. For example, managing child patients can be an example of an integrated course where oral anatomy, mixed dentition, eruption patterns, plaque control can be learned integrated through delivery by their respective experts. Step 7. Correlation There is a sustained and regular attempt in the curriculum to try to correlate the relevance of each subject to each other. For example, an activity like a seminar is conducted every week to integrate the learning done in the separate subjects or disciplines. The conduct of PBL at the end of some subject courses can show how the various disciplines come together to solve patient problems. Step 8. Complementary Program The integrated sessions described in Step 7 takes a main position in the curriculum. The integrated sessions are placed at a priority to the subject-based teaching. The subject-based teaching contributes to the learning 
in the integrated sessions. Thus, this means need to reflect the integrated content that is being delivered as well as the content being delivered during the separate subject sessions. I think this step 8 and step 9, the step 9 is multidisciplinary, are the formats for most of the integrated dental curriculum where subject experts deliver the subject content in relation to integrated sessions and integrated assessments. Step 9 Multidisciplinary Several subject areas are brought together under a themed course. The themes allow the student to learn the various subject component in an integrated manner. The course can be developed on tasks taken by a dentist. For example, preventive management through plaque control requires learning of various disciplines like cardiology, periodontology, clinical dentistry, etc. Though the theme integrated problem is what the student learns, the different subjects preserve their identity as subject experts have their bias and leanings when delivering content. Step 10. Interdisciplinary The individual identities and perspectives of the different disciplines in contributing to the integrated theme is lost when interdisciplinary status is achieved. Step 11. Transdisciplinary The student learns real life in real situations. Harden provides the basis and understanding to integrate the medical curriculum at many levels. The various models can be used to improve the existing integration to the next level.